in a stunning turn of events on the eve of their crucial clash against the New England Patriots. The Kansas City Chiefs find themselves enveloped in a cloud of controversy and tension. Star quarterback Patrick Mahomes and head coach Andy Reid have been slapped with hefty fines by the NFL, raising eyebrows across the league and leaving fans questioning the impact on their upcoming game. But before we continue this video please kindly subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell for more videos, thank you. The fines totaling $150,000 were a result of their public criticism of game officials, following a heartbreaking Week 14 loss to the Buffalo Bills. The air around the Chiefs' camp is thick with frustration, and Mahomes, known for his cool demeanor on the field, was visibly irate after a game-changing call in the dying minutes of the Bills' matchup. The officials flagged wide receiver Kadarius Toney for an offensive offside, wiping away a potential game-winning touchdown late in the fourth quarter. Mahomes, held back by teammates as he shouted towards an official, epitomized the frustration that reverberated through the entire Chiefs roster. Echoes of Maham's discontent lingered even after the game, as he engaged in a heated exchange with Bills quarterback Josh Allen, about the contentious call. In a rare display of frustration, Mahams expressed his dismay to reporters, highlighting the impact of such decisions on the essence of the game. It's tough to swallow, not only for me and football in general, to take away greatness like that, for a guy like Travis Kelsey to make a play like that. You want to see the guys on the field decide the game. They're human. They make mistakes. But every week, we're talking about something, Mahams exclaimed. The quarterback's frustration extended beyond the immediate aftermath of the game evolving into a broader critique of the officiating in the NFL. Mahams, known for his sportsmanship, emphasized the desire for the players on the field to determine the game's outcome, rather than contentious officiating decisions dominating post-game discussions. It's the call, just in that moment, not for myself, to have a flag change the outcome of the game. I've never had offensive offsides called. If it does, they warn you. There wasn't a warning the entire game. And then you make a call like that in the final minute. Another game. We're talking about the refs. It's not what we want for the NFL. It's not what we want for football, Mahams passionately declared. Reed, equally incensed by the officiating, voiced his discontent regarding the lack of a warning regarding Tony's foot placement. Usually I get a warning before something like that happens, Reed stated his frustration evident. A bit embarrassing in the National Football League for that to take place. I didn't have a protractor out there, but a bit embarrassing. As the fines were announced by the NFL, with Reed facing a staggering $100,000 penalty, and Mahams hit with a $50,000 fine for his criticism and unsportsmanlike conduct, Respectively, the Chiefs' camp faced an additional layer of adversity. The looming financial repercussions and potential distractions from the controversy raise concerns about the team's focus as they prepare to face the New England Patriots. Amid the storm of criticism and fines, Mahams took a moment to reflect on his emotional outburst, expressing regret for his actions. Obviously, you don't ever want to react that way, Mahams admitted in an interview on 610 Sports. I care, man. I love this game. I love my teammates. I want to go out there and put everything on the line to win. But, obviously, can't do that can't be that way toward officials or really anybody in life. So, I probably regret acting like that. But, more than anything, I regretted how I acted toward Josh after the game, because he had nothing to do with it. As the Chiefs prepare to face the Patriots, the fines and the fallout from the officiating controversy had an unexpected layer of drama to an already crucial matchup. The question now remains, can Mahams, Reed, and the rest of the Chiefs rally together? putting aside the distractions, to regain their winning form and silence the critics. The upcoming game against the Patriots promises to be not only a battle on the field, but also a test of the Chiefs' resilience and ability to over- The fines levied against Mahams and Reed are not only a blow to their wallets, but also a potential source of discord within the Chiefs' locker room. The team, already grappling with a two-game losing streak, now faces the challenge of maintaining unity in the face of external pressures. The camaraderie that has been a hallmark of the Chiefs' success 
will be put to the test as players navigate the aftermath of the officiating controversy and the ensuing fines. The leadership of Mahomes and Reed will be pivotal in steering the team through these turbulent waters, ensuring that the focus remains on the game ahead and not on the external noise. Travis Kelsey, the wide receiver at the center of the controversial call, finds himself unwittingly thrust into the spotlight. His pivotal play, nullified by the official's decision, becomes a symbol of the broader frustrations voiced by Mahomes and Reed. Kelsey, known for his on-field excellence and sportsmanship, now must navigate the aftermath of a call that not only affected the outcome of the game, but also sparked a league-wide conversation about the state of officiating in the NFL. As the Chiefs move forward, Kelsey's ability to channel this adversity into motivation could play a crucial role in the team's resurgence. The looming matchup against the New England Patriots takes on added significance in light of the recent developments. And please do not forget to subscribe. See you next time.